Hello, my name is Ashani Apa. I'm a registered migration agent here at Cirrus Migration. In today's video, I'm going to explain the points table used um, for subclass 188 business innovation and investment visa. For you to be eligible for this visa, you need to get 65 points from this points table I'm about to explain. First, points for your age. If you're between 18 and 55, you can get certain points depending on your age. If you even if you're over 55, sometimes there are age exceptions. If your business idea is um, of exceptional value to that state, and we have to uh, do a special request from the state to exempt from you from your age requirement. Second is points for your English. If you can get certain points um, by sitting an English test such as um, IELTS or PTE, you can get different points. For example, if you can get five each in an IELTS general test, you can get five points. And if you can get seven each in an IELTS general test, you can get 10 points for your English. The third one is points for your education. If you have a diploma or a trade qualification from an Australian Institute, then you can get five points. Or if you have any bachelor's degree of three years or higher, then again you can get five points for this qualification. But if you have a bachelor's degree in science, engineering or technology, then you can get 10 points for your education. Next is the points for your business experience. If you have been running a successful business anywhere in the world, it has to be a registered business, you can get 10 points if your business is older than 4 years. You can get 15 points if your business is older than 7 years. Next are the points you can get for your financial assets. Financial assets are your personal and business assets held under your name or your spouse's name or your business's name and these assets has to be held for at least two years. If you have minimum $800,000 worth of assets, then you get five points. If you have minimum of $1.3 million worth of assets, then you get 15 points. And if you have minimum $1.8 million worth of assets, then you get 25 points. And if you have minimum of $2.25 million worth of assets, then you get 35 points. 35 points are the highest points you can get for this category. The next category is your business turnover. You have to have at least $500,000 worth of turnover for you to qualify for this visa, plus for that you get 5 points. If you have $1 million worth of turnover, then you get 15 points. If you have $1.5 million worth of turnover, then you get 25 points. And if you have $2 million worth of turnover, then you get 35 points. But keep in mind, these um, turnovers can be of at least two businesses. It doesn't have to be of the same business. But you have to have at least 50% or more of the shares of the business to show that you've had a um, management experience and also um, ownership interest in that business. If you want to know more about this points table or if you want us to help you with calculating your points to see if you're eligible for this visa, get in touch with us today.